When I was younger, one of my earliest memories is of being in the library. And I always loved space when I was younger. Um, and I found every book that I could about space. And looking through the pages among the stories of NASA astronauts and space shuttle missions, I saw an image of a young woman with brown hair like me and um, in a spacesuit, and there was a British flag on her arm. And the caption next to it said that this is Helen Sharman, and she's the first British astronaut. And I think in that moment, I realized what I wanted to be. I really had to believe in myself and also persuade other people around me, persuade my parents and teachers that a career in space is actually feasible and attainable and it's something that I could do. And I was lucky to have people around me, my parents and my teachers, that really encouraged me um, to, to kind of tinker with things and to learn about technology. And my dad is an engineer and he helped me to do things like take apart the TV. Um, I learned to program the VCI when I was younger. And I think really being exposed to that technology and learning at a young age about the impact you can have on that technology was really inspiring for me. I'm a space operations engineer. Um, what that means is that I carry operations on the space station, but also I develop operations for future projects. One of the things that I love most about my job is that space is naturally a global industry. We get to work with people from around the world, and you really need that diversity and creativity to solve the really hard problems that we have in the world today. One of my biggest achievements to date is the skin suit project. In space, on the space station, astronauts lose around 2-3% to of their bone mass in the six months duration. Um, but apart from that, they also grow about 5-7 to seven centimeters in height, and that can be quite painful for them. And so we designed a suit that would prevent that. It's really exciting to see something that I worked on in my early 20s being used and actually make a difference. I got to see it from the drawing, so the early prototypes now are actually being used on the International Space Station. The stereotype of an engineer is somebody that works in a lab might wear a lab coat like a scientist and work with tools, which I think needs to change. Engineering to me is really creative. You do need that technical background, but to problem solve, you need to be really creative. A lot of people grow up wanting to make a difference, but there seems to be a disconnect between wanting to make a difference in the world and knowing that the way to do that is the career in engineering. And you can have an amazing impact on the world through engineering.